How do you do? Archangel Manga here, and you are watching episode 8 of the Sunday Archive. Uh, before I start this, I've just got a Skype call with uh, Immortalium and BTD87, Owen and Ben. Uh, ben requests that I do a shout out, so shout out to you. Uh, so, yeah, uh, as it's done with these, I've uh, got a lot of questions to answer this week. Uh, currently, what I'm reading, watching, same as last week, uh, I st <laughs> I'm still falling behind on Kurosaki Cops Delivery Service. I haven't really been reading much manga this week, as you can probably imagine. And uh, I finally started with Um Obviously, there will be a review of this uh, at some point uh, when I finish it. Uh, so far, it's pretty average. Uh, I don't really see what's so great about it, but um, I do hear that it does wrap up quite nicely towards the end of the series, and that's where, really where um, you know you do really start to enjoy it. Like I'm only three episodes into it, so. I can't really have too much of a big you know, opinion on it as of yet because I'm so early in the series so I haven't rated it yet or anything on uh, my enemy list but okay anyway I've got a few questions to answer but before I start answering questions I do need to make you guys aware that uh, this week's discussion uh, I'm not going to be talking too much about it because I do actually want to do a separate video on it and it's basically a response video to a uh, YouTube called Teching 101 uh, where he basically made a video uh, essentially praising scamlators uh, basically in a nutshell um, I don't have anything personally against him, I, I'm not subscribed to him, I don't really know him, but uh, I do disagree with his thoughts and you know, I, I don't really see why I should uh, praise uh, individuals who uh, serve to essentially harm the industry and I don't see why I should give credit uh, to people who don't uh, you know, translate manga officially, uh, you know, why not give praise to the, you know, the translators who put that material out there, um, you know, through legal mediums like you know viz media or dark horse why not give you know credit to those translators you know the people who are the people who translate it for them um you know the people who actually build a career out of it uh you know legally um and you know i've got to you know extensive extensive measures to um essentially um you know quality control their work um you know with editors and things like that and put you know extensive um, edit a note to uh, translate things that or you know explain things that have translated that might not translate well from Japanese into English. Uh, whereas you know you have scanlators who push things out on a weekly basis if it's you know like a weekly series, and the translations you know barely legible. Um, you know in terms of like you know grammatical you know full of grammatical errors. So you know I'm, I'm not saying that all scanlators are like that, but you know. I just don't agree with the video and I didn't like it but uh, as you can imagine I've got a lot to discuss in relation to it so I will do a separate video on that with, uh, um, tomorrow or the day after or something like that so uh, this week I just want to focus on the questions that I was asked from last week's video uh, I do appreciate the feedback uh, that I'm getting on these weekly videos and these weekly vlog style videos so uh, let's get started with that so the first question comes from JetGatling97 uh, they ask me are you excited are you excited about the Blade of the Immortal Omnibus and how Vinland Saga Book 6 comes out in September? Uh, yes and yes. Uh, I already own most of Blade of the Immortal so I won't be picking up the om Omnibuses but I'm excited uh, for the Omnibus releases uh, for the fact that you know other people will be able to get into the series. Um, you know, uh, Similarly with the Kurosaki Corpse Delivery Service uh, announcement um, I'm glad people are going to be able to get back into that series as well or get into it because it's so far one of my uh, one of my top uh, favorite series. Well, I I wouldn't I I don't think it would be my top ten, but I am really enjoying it and it's a fantastic series. And I'm glad that, you know people are going to have the opportunity to get into it and you know I'm going to be able to express uh, opinions uh, and they're going to be able to express them with me you know in relation to the series. So uh, I am very excited for those releases um, and as well with Vinland Saga Book Six. I mean I don't have Book Five yet, but I have seen the cover for Book Six and it looks fantastic. Uh, so I'm very excited for those releases. And the next question comes from Hillian Raptor. I really appreciate your support on these videos. Uh, you're a regular on these, which is pretty cool, as well as obviously a lot of other ones. Uh, but another question from you. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Uh, on the topic of Western releases, uh, are there any manga that have not been released in English yet that you're waiting for? Um, by that, I assume you mean uh, manga that have been announced to be released in English. Uh, that are not yet out. Obviously, uh, Good Night Pun Pun. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. That's just recently been announced. Uh, I am a hero. Um, a fantastic uh, seinen. So I hear uh, a realistic zombie apocalypse uh, seinen, which I'm really, really looking forward to. 
uh, I was really interested uh, and excited for Tokyo Ghoul coming out. Uh, that's already out now, I believe, uh, but I haven't picked up any, any of that as of yet. Um, as for releases that have not been announced or probably never will be announced, uh, Yokohama, uh, Kaidashi Kiko, uh, I'd absolutely love for that to have, have an English release. Um, I haven't read it uh, or read much of it. Or, well, I, I know the synopsis of it and seen a few of the OVAs, but it is a fantastic series. Uh, also, I'd like to see Saint Young Men uh, come out. Basically, Saint Young Men is a story surrounding Jesus and Buddha, uh, who have uh, taken a break from the heavenly duties and gone on a uh, vacation or sabbatical uh, to Tokyo and live in living in apartments. Uh, um, you know, in Tokyo, it's basically like a slice of life uh, with you know two of the, the, the heavenly deities of um, you know history. So it's supposed to be really funny. I really want to check that out. Next question, uh, also from uh, Hillian Raptor. Um, also, are you going to do another season uh, in the same vein of Tezuka season? Um, yes and no. Um, I am going to do one with the respect of focusing on particular sets of manga. Like I am, I am thinking of doing videos dedicated to Gekiga manga. Uh, Gekiga basically means dramatic pictures. Uh, I guess you could say the. Gekiga is like the primordial form of seinen manga and what seinen manga became uh, but I'm not going to do simultaneous videos I'm going to basically do spotlight videos every now and then uh, and put them in their own separate playlist where every now and then between normal regular manga reviews I will do uh, like, a, like a spotlight video which might be a little bit longer where I discuss maybe two or three uh, different uh, series within one video rather than Pardon me. Rather than doing uh, like an expansive, you know, season where it just lasts months and months and months, like Tezuka season did, uh, that's it's gonna be the same with more Tezuka uh, reviews as well. Uh, there will be more Tezuka manga reviews, obviously, because it's more manga to read by him. Uh, they will go in the Tezuka season playlist, but uh, I won't be doing um, seasons where you know s simultaneously one video after the next will just be discussing the same type of manga. Unfortunately, because I didn't really enjoy doing that. I enjoyed reviewing Tezuka, but I did not enjoy. Uh, how long it took me to do that. Next question comes from Samuel Trejo, another regular on these videos. Uh, do you have any Bandai Entertainment manga? Uh, no. Uh, by the time Bandai Entertainment uh, announced that they weren't going to stop releasing manga um, in the United States or just generally, uh, was not the point where I was collecting manga on, on, a, on you know, a regular basis, so unfortunately no. Um, next question from you is, hey do you remember any anime on HD DVD? Uh, you may be too young to remember that format. Uh, not too sure about that. I'm 25 years old. Um, you know, I, I remember the days where I was recording uh, episodes of Dragon Ball Z on VHS when it used to air on Cartoon Network. So, um, but I never used to buy HD DVDs. I just waited to, for them to release Blu-rays. You know, that, H, that HD DVD era uh, came and went very quickly. And the next question comes from Thugs Bunny, I like the name. Um, Okay, uh, really enjoying your content. Thanks. Um, I plan on doing a make. I plan on making a first impression on Tokyo Ghoul. Um, yes, as I want to buy it, uh, I don't have the first volume of it yet, and I do need to kind of get out of the way my first impression of uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Phantom Blood Volume One, um, as you know, I'm really new to the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure franchise, so. Uh, do expect uh, more first impressions of uh, manga, you know, that are kind of long running. Uh, as there's no point doing reviews of uh, series that are either really long or uh, are still continuing, um, especially with Tokyo Ghoul. Um, I might do a, a, a first impression and then once I've read all 13 volumes, I think it is, do an overall series impression uh, or just a review of that first, that, you know, that first series. So I know it's still continuing with uh, Tokyo Ghoul Re. Um, but yeah, uh, I do appreciate the question and I did read the rest of the comment. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really glad that I've introduced you to more manga, so you know, let's keep watching. Uh, I do appreciate the, uh, the the feedback. And the next question comes from Hashim Durrani, uh, another regular. You know, thank you so much. Uh, his question to me is, um, uh, what is your favorite out of print manga right now? Um, oh dear, uh, I guess you could consider a lot of the manga I own. Uh, not the majority of it, but quite a substantial amount of manga that I own is out of print. Uh, one good example would be, as you can see, let's turn the camera around. Uh, Battle Royale, these are the ultimate editions um, from way back a few years ago. Tokyo Pop released three in ones, hardcover, that's solid. And uh, at, at the point that I was reading the, the, this, I was so just massively, uh, massively invested in the series as a whole. I absolutely loved it. 
Um, as for other out of manga that I have, I mean, there's nothing particular that comes to mind right now, uh, but the Blade of the, not Blade of the Mortal, um, Battle Royale definitely is a series that I was massively emotionally invested in. And the next question comes from another one of my regulars, uh, Net1340. Uh, your first question to me is, any guilty pleasure manga? Um, I answered this in the live stream before, I, uh, I believe. Uh, the answer to that is just straight up no. Um, if I enjoy a series that people you know, otherwise wouldn't enjoy or think would be weird, then if I enjoy it, I'm invested in it and I'm proud to enjoy it. Uh, and will happily express that, you know, publicly or you know, online on forums or anything. Um, I'm not. I don't really feel guilty of for enjoying any series that that I, that I have. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm pretty open. Um, your next question: uh, Which manga do you like that has terrible artwork? Oh wow. Um, I can't. I can't think of a particular manga that you know has particularly bad artwork. I mean. I guess I could say the some of the volumes of Hunter Hunter, but I haven't read those volumes. I've only seen the anime for Hunter Hunter, and obviously the anime adaptation is fantastic. So um, off the top of my head, really, um, I can't particularly think of anything. Um, Helter Skelter and Pink, I guess you could say, uh, from a layman's perspective, would have bad artwork, but that is just Kyoko Okazaki's style. Uh, the, the same can be said of. Um, Taya Matsumoto, the author of Tech on King Crete, um, from a general layman's person's perspective, would have bad artwork. But again, it's a stylized, uh, you know, artwork, and I can appreciate it for that. You know, both from Okazaki and uh, Matsumoto. So, un I, I don't particularly think I've read any manga where it's been very noticeable that the mangaka is either a bad artist or doesn't put much effort in because that kind of defeats the purpose of creating manga because they're, they're so determined. You can tell these authors are very determined to get the story out there. Um, if anything, then for longer running series, if, if, you're, if you've got uh, really far into a series and you look back at some of the early volumes, you can see where the the artist, the mangaka, wasn't as good um, in the earlier volumes. Like This is true of you know, long running uh, series like One Piece, uh, Naruto, um, I've noticed it in the recent Jojo's Bizarre Adventure volume that I read where uh, you know he's, the, he just, he's not very good at drawing body proportions and hands and wrists and things like that but that's something that uh, progresses with time in terms of art because art is something that you build upon. Now, I mean I'm an artist myself so I know um, that is, you know, practice does make perfect so um, there's, I can't, there's, there is no notable examples. And I really like a suggestion as well. Um, you also put, um, also for your spotlight video idea, uh, why not try making a video where you talk about maybe one trope or an attribute and provide manga examples? Uh, like instead of Tezuka season, do a Tezuka spotlight and talk about maybe three or four, th uh, sorry, four or five different works by him. Um, this is something that I'm not going to be doing for Tezuka, as Tezuka is a mangaka who's important to me enough where I would want to review each series that I read by him individually in a separate video. However, I will be doing this for um, my Gekka Spotlight videos where I'll be taking Gekka manga and maybe reviewing or talking about uh, three you know, particular series in one video. Um, so I, you know, that, that is something I am considering, but just not with uh, Tezuka. Uh, so yeah, thanks for the answer. thanks for the questions. Okay, on to the next one from Mr. Laser Shark KH. Um, blah, 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 blah. How dis how difficult is it to usually make your top tens in anime and manga videos? Uh, funnily enough, not actually that difficult. Um, I either look on what scores I've used for those you know particular series on my anime list and do it that way, or just kind of go with my gut feeling at the time. Um, you know, considering like the artwork, the story, you know, my investment emotionally within that series. Uh, but for the most part, I'm actually quite whimsical when it comes to those lists, unfortunately, and I don't really put much time and effort into um, designing them, if you would. Um, you know, I don't really weigh in or score each kind of attribute um, to, you know, each series. Like, I don't uh, weigh, you know, score the art, the story, the plot, you know, or the characters or anything like that. And uh, get like you know a median um, sort of you know um, rating because I don't use rating I don't use any rating system at all so mostly for the most you know for the most part it's just my gut feeling. Next we have uh, Immortalium, um, Buddy Owen. 
Uh, my question, are your parents interested in anime or manga? Uh, by that I mean, have you shown them anything and how did they respond to it? Uh, yes, I've watched anime with my family. Um, they responded well to it. Um, again, you know, I come from a very open family. Um, I've watched things like Wolf Children, a few Ghibli films here and there. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a re always a really positive experience when watching uh, anime with my family, um, you know, which is positive for me as well. It makes me more confident in, you know, the medium that I'm so heavily in invested and interested in. And the next one from another regular, uh, BB Shocks or BB Shock Z. I don't know how you want to pronounce that. Uh, really interesting question. I believe I've answered this on another live stream, uh, but I will answer it again. Uh, do you feel that you're taken seriously by other adults, friends, family when you reveal you're an anime fan? due to misconceptions about the anime, about anime, sorry, uh, mostly just due to the fact that people without knowledge of anime automatically assume it's porn. Uh, have you ever had to justify your hobby? Um, now, I've seen a previous comment uh, or a reply on BDT87's um, uh, comment. You did give a little bit of background um, as to, you know, where that question might have came from. And I can see that's from personal experience uh, with you. Um, personally, for me, I've been quite fortunate in that uh, I am surrounded by people who are either also interested in anime and manga or people who are just really, really open-minded towards it. Uh, I've never had to justify my hobby or, um, you know, I've never came, come across anybody who's so close-minded to assume that it's, you know, pornographic or childish or anything like that. I, I do see a lot of that on the internet uh, in comments and things like that, but nothing is ever directed like that towards me. Um, you know, I, I do have a really close-knit circle of friends who are either interested in it or very supportive of it. Uh, it's not something something I'm embarrassed about. Uh, if I was embarrassed about it, then I wouldn't be making videos online. Um, as for you know having to reveal it, um, that that <laughs> it's not really that much of a big reveal. It's just to me, it's just another hobby, uh, like playing football or you know watching series on Netflix or you know being interested in board games, you know, or playing computer games. It's just another hobby, uh, which I'm immensely proud of. I'm proud of my collection. I'm, pr I'm proud of my interest in it. And uh, if I'm, I'm, I'm very, I mean, I'm not blowing my own trumpet or anything like that, but um, I am a very confident person. Um, and if anybody tries to chastise me wrongly, then I am the kind of person who will get, like, school somebody to the point where, you no, know, I would, I'm, I'm, I'm not a bully in any way, but if, if somebody uh, criticizes me wrongly uh, for something that I feel, uh, you know, it's something that everybody should enjoy. And I'm the kind of person who will kind of school somebody to make them feel that small. Um, as I'm, I'm very, very protective and defensive of, uh, you know, the personal, you know, things that are personal to me. So um, I don't like small mindedness in people. Uh, I don't like seeing people being small minded to others. Um, so, you know, I would nip that in the bud. Uh, and make it very clear to whoever would, you know, is speaking to me saying that, you know, what I'm interested in is childish. Uh, I would basically give them a very polite uh, F you and, you know, leave it at that. So, you know, thanks for your question. Um, and, you know, that's kind of the advice that I would give you as well. Uh, be proud in, you know, what you're interested in. And uh, whoever, wants you, whoever wants to chastise you or be a little for something that you're interested in are people who are not worth hanging around or people who are just not worth your time or your effort and the, you're not you know they're not worthy of your company uh, and that's not the other way around and last but not least uh, a recent question from 36 minutes ago uh, from Nitro Hawk um, I remember that you had the first volume of The Summer of the Gods by Jiro Taniguchi yeah uh, from your manga from your manga collection video you've got a very good memory um, do you plan on collecting the rest of the series I can honestly say that I think it's one of the best manga I've ever read uh, yes Yes and yes, I do plan on collecting the rest of the Summer of the Gods. However, I do believe that some of the volumes are now out of print. Uh, I will try my damnedest to uh, to get my, to get hold of those volumes as I do. I mean, the, the reason why I picked up the first volume in the first place is because I absolutely loved the premise. Uh, looking through the pages and seeing the artwork, I just you know rock climbing, mountain climbing. How many you know how many manga are based on that? And told with uh, a flair of such realism. Um, I absolutely love the premise of it and I cannot wait to read it and I just hope to God that I'll be able to find the rest of the volumes. Uh, I know volume 3 and 4 are, are quite readily available for me uh, at my local Forbidden Planet but I'm not sure if I'll be able to pick up volume 2 for, for quite as easy. Uh, but I will try my damn just to try and get that um, as I will. Um, I will be, you know, try, you know, reading the rest of that series come hell or high water. 
Uh, so yeah, uh, this has been another long video. I think these archive videos are getting longer and longer each week. Um, I hope you don't. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, as I, you know, I do. I do uh, answer every single question that you guys ask me. Um, if these, in terms of questions, if I do, you know, get more and more questions, then I will end up emitting the uh, the topic part of it and basically just say, like I have in this video, that I do have a topic in mind, but I will do a separate video on it. And I might dedicate these videos solely to talking about what I'm currently reading and watching, and then dedicating the rest of the video to um, to an, an, you know answering your questions, as I do really really enjoy that. Uh, but still, you know, you can recommend um, topics uh, that you you know that you want me to discuss. And uh, as is standard, please you know forward forward me more questions. I'm really interested in answering them for you guys, uh, as I do appreciate the feedback from you. And I can see people are coming back and watching these videos, so it's really cool to the, to see you know who's interested in my opinions and things like that. And just generally, I really enjoy interacting with my subscribers. Um, so yeah, uh, tune in for next week's video. Um, you know, I do enjoy doing these doing these on a weekly basis now. Uh, so yeah, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.